The legendary Reg Park wins his third and final NABBA Mr. Universe title, and a surprise entry from America takes the amateur title. All the details of the 1965 NABBA Mr. Universe coming up next on Bodybuilding History. I will be forever the myth. You're the king of kings, though. <laughs> <laughs> There's always a pecking order. The little peckers never mess with the big peckers. So I'm a rooster, and he's a chicken, so to speak. This episode of Bodybuilding History is brought to you by the website bodybuildinglegendshow.com. I am your host, John Hansen. And on this episode, we are going to talk about the 1965 NABBA Mr. Universe. This was the 16th consecutive NABBA Mr. Universe contest. It took place on September 25th, 1965 at the Victoria Palace Theater in London, England. At this time, the NABBA Mr. Universe was still considered the biggest competition in the world. This contest featured both an amateur division and a professional division. There was 53 amateur bodybuilders competing in the amateur division and only 11 competitors competing in the pro division, mostly because of the appearance of Reg Park. Overall, the contest featured competitors from 23 different countries, including five competitors from South Africa, five competitors from Germany, and the USA only sent four competitors over. The 1965 NABBA Universe was judged by 14 judges. 11 of them came from Britain. All right, so let's get into the contest. We'll start off with the amateur division. The amateur division, as always, was judged in three classes, class one, class two, and class three. Class three was also called the short class. It featured bodybuilders up to a height of five foot six inches. The surprise winner of this class was Elmo Santiago from New York City. Elmo had been competing in the AAU in America for many years. He won the 1958 Mr. Eastern America, the 1959 Junior Mr. America, and the 1960 Mr. North America. Elmo worked for the airlines, so in 1961, he flew over to London and competed in his first NABBA Mr. Universe contest, and he took third place in the short class. The short class that year was won by Pierre Vandenstein from Belgium. After that third place finish at the 1961 NABBA Mr. Universe, Elmo vowed that he would come back and win this class one day. He didn't compete much over the next four years, although he did do the AAU Mr. America a couple times, but he didn't place very high. He only took 10th place at the 1963 AAU Mr. America contest. Elmo was 34 years old, and he weighed anywhere from 180 to 190 pounds. He had a very thick build. He trained at Tomas Gym in New York City, which was owned by Enrico Tomas, who was the 1954 NABBA Mr. Universe. Enrico obviously encouraged Elmo to do very well at the NABBA Universe, and he told him that he could win, and he was right. Elmo received the majority of the judges' votes, and he was a real surprise winner because nobody saw him as one of the favorites going into the contest. In second place in the short class was Pierre Vandenstein from Belgium, this was the guy that beat Elmo back in 1961 at the NABBA Mr. Universe. Pierre was actually a two-time winner at the NABBA Universe. He won the short class, Class 3, in both 1961 and in 1963, but he was second this year. In third place was Terry Parkinson from England. Terry was that year's Mr. Britain winner, and he took third place in the NABBA Universe this year. And he would also take third place the following year in 1966. In fourth place was a very promising bodybuilder, John Citrone from England. John was only 22 years old at the time. He had taken second place the year before in 1964. And the following year, in 1966, John would go on to win the Mr. Britain title. And then John had a string of victories at the NABBA Mr. Universe. The next three years, he won class three in 1967. And then in 1968 and 1969, John also won the professional division in the short class. So that was three first place victories for John Citrone at the NABBA Universe. He was a great bodybuilder. Fifth place at the 1965 NABBA Universe in the short class was another promising bodybuilder, Wilfred Sylvester. Wilfred was living in St. Lucia, but he would eventually migrate over to Britain. He was fifth place this year, but the next year... Wilford would take second place at the NABBA Universe, and then in 1968, he would win the short class at the NABBA Mr. Universe contest. 
Wilford also won the Mr. Britain contest in 1967. So there were 18 total competitors in the short class. Moving on to the medium class, there was also 18 competitors competing in the medium height class. The medium height class went from over five foot six up until five foot nine. First place went to Fanny Detoit from South Africa. Fanny was the current Mr. Republic of South Africa winner, and he had some of the best arm development in the contest that night. In second place was another promising young bodybuilder, Roy Perot from England. Roy had great abdominal development, and he would be a mainstay in the NABBA universe for many years, finally winning his height class at the 1968 NABBA Mr. Universe contest. It was a pretty close decision between Fanny and Roy. Fanny got eight first place votes from the judges. Roy got five first place votes. Third place in the medium height class went to a future bodybuilding legend, Albert Beckles from Barbados. This was Albert's very first NABBA Mr. Universe contest. He was still in the process of developing his physique, as you can see from the photos, but he already had those great biceps, and a lot of people predicted some really good things from Albert in the future, and they were right because Albert went on to win first place in this height class in the 1967 NABBA Mr. Universe contest. And then in 1970, Albert won the Mr. Britain contest that year and also the Mr. Europe contest. And in 1971, Albert had a great year. He won his height class again at the NABBA Mr. Universe. And then he went on to win the IFBB overall Mr. Universe contest in Paris. Fourth place in the medium height class went to Achilles Kalos from South Africa. Achilles was the runner up at the Mr. South Africa contest that year. He was also a real prominent writer for many of the magazines. He wrote several articles for Iron Man magazine back in the 1960s. And then fifth place in class two, the medium height class at the Dab of Mr. Universe, went to Beresford Morris from Jamaica. All right, moving on to the tall class, which was class one. There was 16 competitors at the 1965 Nava Mr. Universe. First place went to Paul Nash from England. And all the reports I read said this was a very easy win for Paul. Paul had taken third place the year before at the 1964 NABBA Mr. Universe. He was also that year's Mr. Britain winner, and he went on to win the Mr. Europe contest the following year in 1966. Second place was Val Vasily from America, and Val was the Mr. America winner from 1964, the year before. He was sent over to London by Muscular Development Magazine, the York Barbell Company, and this was Val's very first NABBA Mr. Universe contest, and he was hoping for a win but he got defeated by Paul Nash. Gordon Van Sertima from Guyana was in third place. Gordon was that year's Mr. British Guyana winner. He was only in sixth place at the 1964 NABBA Mr. Universe, so he moved up to third place this year, and this was his highest placing ever. Fourth place went to Jeffrey Whitaker from England. Jeffrey was fourth at the 1964 NABBA Mr. Universe, and he also took second in the Mr. Britain that year as well as 1965. He was a two-time Mr. Britain runner-up. And then finally, in fifth place, we have Pietro Tozzini from Italy. Pietro was the current Mr. Italy winner from that year. So there was 2,000 people in the audience that night at the Victoria Palace Theater, and the judges had to choose an overall winner from Paul Nash, who was Class 1 winner, Fanny Dutoit, who was the Class 2 winner, and Elmo Santiago, who was the Class 3 winner. So third place went to Fanny Detoit from South Africa. Second place went to Paul Nash from England. And the surprise winner was Elmo Santiago from the USA. So in the final tally, eight judges chose Elmo Santiago. Five judges chose Paul Nash. And only one judge went for Fanny Detoit from South Africa. All right, let's move over to the professional division where Reg Park won his third and final NABBA Mr. Universe at the age of 38, Reg was a legend in the bodybuilding world. He was originally from Leeds, England, and then he moved over to South Africa when he married his wife, Marion. Reg's career started off in 1949 when he won the Mr. Britain title. And then the following year in 1950, he won the Mr. Europe title. And then Reg lost a very close decision to another legend, Steve Reeves, at the very first NABBA Mr. Universe in 1950. It went down to the wire between Steve Reeves and Reg Park at the very first NABBA Universe, and Steve Reeves was the winner. But Reg Park came back the following year, and he won the 1951 Mr. Universe contest at only 23 years old. 
Reg, during his time, was one of the biggest and strongest bodybuilders in the whole world, and he was a real legend in the sport. So he won the 1951 Navajo Mr. Universe. He came back in 1958, and he won the title again in the professional division. And now this was his third and final Navajo Mr. Universe victory in 1965. So every seven years, Reg would come back and win the title. Reg was also a movie star. He made five movies between 1961 and 1965. He starred as Hercules in four of those movies. And he was, of course, the inspiration for Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold read about Reg in the muscle magazines, and he said he wanted to be just like Reg Park. He wanted to win Mr. Universe and then be in the movies just like his idol, Reg Park. Reg actually came back to win the Navi Universe again in 1970 and 1971 and in 1973, but he was at that time in his 40s. So at 42 years old, Reg competed against Arnold at the 1970 Navi Universe, and he took second place. And then in 1971, he came back at 43 years old, and he competed against Bill Pearl and Sergio Oliva, and Reg was in third place in that event. And then his last Mr. Universe was the 1973 Navi Mr. Universe, where he took second place to Dennis Tinarino. So Reg was very well received, of course, at this contest. He was a true legend in the sport. And I guess both the competitors and the audience were very happy to see him on stage and see him win another Mr. Universe contest. Now, the professional division was contested in two height classes, under five foot eight and over five foot eight. So, of course, Reg at six foot one was the winner in the tall class. And second to Reg was George Payne from America. George was originally from Cuba. And according to the reports I read, he was 41 years old at this contest, and he was in fantastic condition. George had a long career, going back to the 1951 Junior Mr. America title, which he won, and the 1952 Eastern Mr. America title. Also took third place at the AU Mr. America in both 1951 and 1952, and then he was fourth place at the 1953 and 1954 Mr. America. So this was kind of a comeback for George, but he was in spectacular shape. He was in very hard, ripped condition, especially for back in 1965. And he took a very strong second to Reg Park in this contest. George would go on to take first place in this class the following year at the 1966 NABA Pro Mr. Universe. And he lost the overall to Paul Winter, who we're going to talk about in a second. Later in his career, George competed in the WBBG competitions that were promoted by Dan Laurie. And his last contest went all the way up to the 1978 IFBB Mr. International Contest in Columbus, Ohio, where George took sixth place in the heavyweight class, and that was won by Joe Nazario. Third place in the tall class at the pro 1965 NAB Mr. Universe was Reinhard Smolana from Germany. Reinhardt was second at the 1962 Pro NAB and Mr. Universe. He was third in 1964, and then he was also third this year in 1965. And Reinhardt owned a gym in Munich, Germany. All right, let's go on to the short class in the Pro Division at the NAB and Mr. Universe. And that was won by Paul Winter from Antigua. Paul had a very impressive symmetrical physique, and he was a real legend in the NAB and Mr. Universe contest. He won first place at the 1956 Navi Mr. Universe in the medium class. That was the year that Ray Schaefer from America won the overall. He also took first in his class at the 1958 Navi Mr. Universe, the year Earl Clark won the overall. Then Paul took first place at the 1959 Navi Pro Mr. Universe in the short class, and Bruce Randall beat him for the overall. And then Paul came back the next year, and he won the overall at the Pro Navi Mr. Universe in 1960, and the following year, after this year, he would win again the NAVA Mr. Universe in the Pro Division, the overall. So he was a two-time pro winner in 1960 and in 1966, and he won his class three times at the NAVA Universe. So like I said, Paul Winter was an amazing bodybuilder and a real legend in the NAVA Mr. Universe history. In second place in the short class was Yves Pernell from France. Yves was also a class winner, but going back to the 1963 pro Nava Mr. Universe. He won the short class there, and he lost the overall to Joe Abenda. But this year, he was second place to Paul Winter in the short class. And then finally, in third place was Leopold Merck from Austria. Leopold was a gym owner from Berlin, Germany, and he took first place at the 1964 pro Nava Mr. Universe, and he lost the overall to Earl Maynard. 
So in the overall decision, it was Reg Park versus Paul Winter, and the judges unanimously went to Reg Park. Reg was, like I said, one of the biggest bodybuilders in the world at that time, and he was well-respected by both competitors and judges, and it was a clear victory for Reg Park. It's interesting to note that the AAU Mr. America winner that year, Jerry Daniels, did not come over to London to compete at the Mr. Universe. It was common practice back then for the winner from the AAU Mr. America to go over and compete in the NAB of Mr. Universe contest. But Jerry did not make the trip, and I don't believe Jerry had much of a bodybuilding career after that Mr. America win in 1965. It's also interesting to note that the Mr. Olympia started this year in 1965. Of course, Larry Scott won that contest. And from all the reports I read, the competition that was held in New York, which featured not only the Mr. Olympia, but also the Mr. Universe and the Mr. America. The Mr. America that year was won by Dave Draper. And the Mr. Universe that year was won by Earl Menard. From all I've read, that competition was much more exciting and much more well-received than the NABA Mr. Universe contest. But at the time, in 1965, the NABA Mr. Universe was still considered the most prestigious and the biggest event in the world, with 53 total competitors competing in this contest. Over time, of course, the Mr. Olympia would gain a lot more prestige and would eventually take the fire away from the NABA Mr. Universe, but that would be years to come. So that wraps up our review of the 1965 NABA Mr. Universe the professional division won for the third time by Reg Park, and the amateur division won by Elmo Santiago from the USA. Be sure to make a comment and like this video if you want to see more bodybuilding history videos. Subscribe to the channel, and be sure to check out every week our Bodybuilding Legends podcast on all the streaming services and also on this YouTube channel. This is John Hansen for another episode of Bodybuilding History. We'll see you next time.